mentioned in Ruby 4, uh, I guess we'll close on this. One of the things, obviously, we think we need to do is to monitor and learn from what the rest of the world is doing. You know, some of the debates we have in Washington are like, you know, I'm not really sure we should have an Air Force. You know, an Air Force doesn't produce anything. An Air Force doesn't do anything that results in higher returns. No, it doesn't. Why do we have an Air Force? It's because other countries have them. And on balance, it's better that ours should be better than theirs. That way, we're safer and they're not. <laughs> I'm serious. That's why we have an Air Force. So we need to learn what the rest of the world is doing. Uh, not just monitor, but learn from it. The idea, you know, this we're number one, we have nothing to learn from anyone mentality. The rest of the world is trying to become like us. You know, for three times in college, I studied Chinese history. And there's one thing that I grew away from that big study. They're not trying to become like us. Okay? They have a long, proud, and distinguished national history. They're not trying to become us, whatever else they're trying to do. Are they trying to learn from us? Yes. On September 12th, there was a group of them from their top National Development Reform Commission who were coming to see us at the Academy to learn everything they can about our system, to have a dialogue and go back. They take their leading people and send them overseas on month-long missions to learn. I'm told that half the US Congress doesn't have a passport. <laughs> Reinforcing support, which means strengthening our universities. You know, you've heard this list of our great universities. Well, you know what governors around the country have been doing. They've been talking about the knowledge economy, how important it is, how important universities are. And then they go in and they cut the budget for the university. Yeah, these are tough times. But as Gordon Moore famously remarked once, we never get well on the old technology. Universities are a path forward. It doesn't mean they can't be reformed. It doesn't mean we can't make them more efficient. We can, and the Academy has just made a, a major report on that. Um, we also need to lighten up the regulations. So rebuilding infrastructure, paying attention to manufacturing, fostering public good, public-private partnerships, and as I mentioned earlier, cooperating constructively and we can. All that we can do, and all that we need to do. So I would argue our key goal here is to stay in, to advocate, to partner, and to provide incentives. And you are critical of this. I can't emphasize that enough. You are critical. It's the business community, it's the mid-level officials, it's the people who get the dose who can help shape the opinion. Not just to accept TV, but to get the conditions necessary for us to compete in a very tough world. Thanks very much. system. Uh, but interestingly, and this goes to the heart of what I was talking about, there's been a great uproar from installers because the installers want the cheaper module. And of course, their belief is that if there's no U.S. production and it comes from China, it will always stay cheap. I also have the grid that I was asking about that. But the, uh, so that, that strategic view
something is a true me mechanism, as, as many economists would love to tell you, um, that moving in product to one of the costs of production is something that few people in the industry recognize. It's a funny place to say it's in, in Japan in the 80s. The big difference, and it's an important question, in the 80s, we couldn't get into Japan, and they were very much in the third market. fastest growing market, and our system of trade complaints works on complaints. A company has to file, but a company who files is blackballed. You know, their market will sudden, suddenly disappear. So the question is, where do you get the complaints? And there's been a lot of talk that the government has to come in and take what amounts to a class action. So there's this. Kirsten? One last question. Have these things. We, we have sort of lost our playbook 